How's it going, you guys? Welcome back to the channel, and if you're new here, welcome. Today, we're handling part two of Death Bloom Chapter One. Now, where we left off last time, we were just collecting all the keys in the garden and entering back into the spooky mansion as the main character. So make sure you grab some snacks, some sweets and treats, and without any further ado, let's get right into this. I don't know if this place has the power on anymore. I should find a source of light before going inside. All right, well, at least we kind of use our head. What? It's the lifespan of a lantern. Could these have been on since he died? That's what I was saying earlier. Like, how are these lights and lamps and lanterns on? I think I'll keep my coat on for now. Who knows if the heat is still on inside. All right, um, where, what lamp, what light am I supposed to take? I, it's like, I've got to take one of these, right? Oh, am I supposed to take a candle? Duh. All right. Wait, why would I take a candle? Oh, I found a flashlight? Alright. Is this like what is happening before we got to where we were in the beginning? I'm kind of confused. Maybe this is what happened in the beginning and um, we're kind of like working our way up to that point again. I'm down for that. I, that's kind of cool. It's like a previously and then it's like... I don't know. I don't know what that was. It's like, you know, like, it's like... This is what happened. Oh, wow. This looks really cool. Bachman Manor. I don't have a map. Yet. This place is incredible. I had no idea anyone in our family was wealthy. Looking from the garden, this place ha must have dozens of rooms. Yeah, I mean, a garden like that is kind of incredible. I don't think uh, the house would be any different. I should find a way to turn the power back on. Trying to navigate this place in the dark will just lead me to getting lost. I agree. Um, and it's less scary with the power on, right? <laughs> so, um, oh, T to toggle the flashlight on and off. I thought I saw something over there. Oh, no, it was just shadows. Okay. Wait. No, I, I, we should be good. We should be fine. All right. Oh boy. <laughs> now we've got to investigate this whole place and that is only gonna be incredibly creepy, I can only imagine. All right, you guys, <laughs> let's get ready. Why does this house look like this? It's locked. Why does it look... Why does this house look like... A, a, a building? Or like a... Abandoned hospital? I hear running water and I really don't like that. It's locked. I'm getting nervous. Alright. We're going back down I guess. All right, um, let's check out this door. Oh shit, it opened, fuck. All right, um, is that Grandpapa? Grandpapa. Now if that doesn't say gentleman, gentlemanly scholar, I don't know what does. Just look at that man. He has never not known wealth. Luxury. I don't like that noise. Oh fuck. Alright. Oh, oh. Grandpapa? In the war? Perhaps? And then it's just the big old family. I really hope they're all related and that's not like a cult family picture. I don't trust that door. I don't want to go in it, but we got to. I'm assuming we have to. Key? That's not where I want to go. <laughs> it's locked. Okay, thank God. Um. Yeah, I don't wanna. I don't. I don't. I don't see this place and think I want to go to this is this place's basement. Uh, fucking grandpapa. Candles were lit, so I hope no one is squatting in my grandfather's house.
Oh, fuck. I don't know. I don't know how you... Oh. Oh. I don't know how you could see this scary ass house. Did that just move? It did move! What the fuck? Is that normal? Oh, hell no. I'll move too. Maybe that's just normal mechanic. But that's still creepy. Alright. We're going the long ray around. Long ray around. Wait. Oh. Oh. And I, oh. oh. Okay. Um. Was that fire always lit? Oh shit, those candles are lit. And it wants me to go to the basement, I think. Probably that's... Oh fuck. Alright, so the, I'm guessing the power and the lighting is gonna be in the basement. We're gonna have to go down there. Alright. Alright, I guess I'm ready to fucking die. Fuck. We're going to the basement, you guys. Ugh. This shit's already lit. No squatter's gonna do that. That's just creepy. I unlocked it using the basement key. Of course it's the basement. Of course we have to load into it. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Oh, we're going down the winding tunnels of doom. That's water. Bachman Manor basement. And it's flooded with water. And the steel door. What the f kind of f did they used to do in their basement? I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to be swearing. What the crap kind of poopy <laughs> did they used to do in their basement? Journal of Edmund G. Okay, thankfully it's not like Brother Edmund. Journal of Edmund G. I took Marcus to the basement. I don't think it's safe in the house anymore. Edna told me there was a path underground that led to the forest outside and some kind of old prohibition tunnels we could take to get away from here. Interesting. The rest of the journal is torn. Okay. So the, this house, we, as we find out right now, is actually uh, like 100% more creepy than we thought. And it's got tunnels leading to outside. Um... And the house isn't safe anymore. And I'm really curious why that is. And the journal is torn. Generator. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, it says stay out. Exit. Power room. Enter. Key. Noises. Oh, shit. Noises. Stay out. I don't like that. Uh, generator. We need to get there. Oh, that's a problem though. Because I don't even know where we are right now. Please don't shut behind me. No turning back now, I guess. That alarm I just- I set off locked the doors. I need to get the power back on and find a way to release the locks from within the basement. Shit. Okay, so that alarm just locked every door. We've got to get out of here. Since the alarm and lights are on there, must be a backup generator running. At least that's good news. Okay. I might be overthinking things, but I've never seen security system work like that before. It wouldn't stop someone from breaking in, but instead stop someone from breaking out once they're already inside. Maybe it was installed wrong. I'm not thinking that it was installed wrong. I'm thinking that it's, uh... Not good. Q and E to peek around corners? Oh shit. Oh shit, I was afraid of this. Okay. I'm lost, you guys. I thought I knew where I was. I'm realizing I don't. This water is too deep. I'm going to have to drain the water before I can go down there. I'm getting some kind of like amnesia vibes from this with the water and everything uh and when now we have to peek 
We're not alone down here. And, and it doesn't help that I don't know where I am. Yeah, so clearly this mansion was not built with uh, the intentions of... Look. Are we by the noises? There's a door with a knife sticking out of it. Pocket knife. Uh, random little kitchen? And another note. Edmund, I wandered through the dark, but everything was sealed off from what I saw. It's so easy to get turned around in this place. I started drawing the corridors and rooms to help get from to help from getting lost and hopefully find the tunnel out of here. I told Marcus to stay outside one of the rooms, but he burst in crying. He said he heard someone in the dark. My son has been always extremely anxious about the dark and I'm sure a place like this isn't exactly fun for him. All right, so Marcus is a child. Edmund is like the father. Um, and it looks like they're lost down here too, or they were before. The rest of the journal is torn again. Alright, so he's the one who made this entire thing, but still, I don't know where I am. Alright. Uh. Oh. We found a valve. Alright, nothing else. Alright, um. To block. Attack. So slash slash block. Fuck, I don't like that they're preparing us for like a fight because that means shit's gonna happen soon. Oh fuck. Fuck you guys. Oh shit, this is open now. I didn't open this shit. Oh, is this the area I'm supposed to stay out of? pick this up. It's too deep in the table. Edmund, I think I understand why this area is restrict restricted. There are rooms down here I never knew of. Those people never left in the night. I need to get my son to the forest as soon as possible and call the police. Maybe he could squeeze through the bars, but I don't know if it's the right direction. Marcus is always looking behind himself every few minutes. He confessed to me that the other children of the congregation told him that there are cannibals that live in the basement, and that's why the old bunker system was abandoned. I think this story mixed with the dark is making his imagination run wild. No, no, I definitely believe- Alright, so we know that there was a cult here. They- <laughs> Cannibal cults members came down here, and we're gonna have to fight them off at some point. <laughs> okay, um... Yikes. And I really hope Marcus escapes. Uh, I guess we're in the, the stay out zone. The one place I didn't want to be. The one fucking place I didn't want to be. And we're here. Guys, oh... It's a morgue? They have a fucking morgue down here? Oh, I don't want to go in here. If there are cannibals, that is where they will be. What's a room like this doing down here? My thoughts exactly. Uh... A fuel canister? Alright. Looks like we're grabbing ingredients that we're gonna need later. 
And I don't think anything else in here is interactable. So we're getting the hell out of here. Uh, I don't like this at all. How can these people still be alive down here? The gas tank? What was that? What the fuck was that? You guys, oh, my heart is beating. My heart is beating really fucking fast. What the fuck was that noise? That sounded like some kind of thing. Breathing. Ah. Oh. Okay. <sighs> Alright, we can do this. We can do this. We got this. Okay, um, what else do we need? I don't think we need anything else from here. I'm guessing. Oh! Fuck, the axe is gone. I fucking knew it. That's why I took it. Should have taken it. I should have taken it. <laughs> because if I don't take it, someone else will. Jesus Christ. We need some Jesus down here. How am I supposed to defend myself from someone with an with an axe with a pocket knife? <gasps> a little pocket knife. And this makes it even worse because it's the kind of game where when you die, you die. <laughs> There's no you don't get to go back and redo it. Alright. Oh fuck, guys. I don't know where I am. Giant door. Another door. This is like the laundry room. Is this a generator room? I move this? Alright, uh, there's just a bunch of boxes in here. And a laundry thing. There's these high voltage stuff, but I probably shouldn't turn that on with the cables like hanging in the, the water that I'm standing in. Uh. Alright. Alright, we continue our quest to find where the hell we are. Wait, 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 wait. Am I supposed to go in here? Shit. Right, I don't see anything down here. Oh, stairs. Is this where I came in? No. Oh fuck, this must be the This must be the generator. Okay. It says I need to find four fuel tanks to draw the water and or drain the water and find a way to get the power on. Okay. We've got two fuels so far. And um Oh, can I pick that up? I mean, that's kind of a weapon too, right? That Those things are heavy. All electrical junk seems to work. Maybe it just needs power. Alright. That means we're going to have to do quite a bit more exploring, but this must be the generator room. Yeah. So if we go to our left, that's where we probably were just now. And if we go to the right, we will... Man, this is like so confusing. This is like a labyrinth. 
And then we make a left. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. This place is such a labyrinth that it is really hard to find your way in here. Really, really hard. It's not budging. Looks like a power lock activated when it closed. Okay. Alright, so that way is busted. Water is too deep. So yeah, really the only way we can go is to where we were. This is really confusing. Whew. That's it for today, you guys. I'm gonna stop here because next episode we are hopefully going to figure out this maze, turn those generators on, and get the hell out of here. <laughs> and probably run into and fight a couple crazy cannibal cultists as well. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to. If not, that's totally fine too. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys for part two later on. Bye!